Welcome back to another roundtable. My name is Adam. With me once again, Rusmin. Hello. Is that Rusmin? It is oh, yes, Rusmin. Yes. <laughs> and Hi. Victor. Hi, everyone. So once again, uh, thank you for joining us at this roundtable. And today, we're going to talk about Facebook, or should I say Meta. Meta. So they have changed the name, and Facebook is now known as Meta. And we're going to talk about Facebook Meta. We're going to use that interchangeably because I think we're going to get used to it. Yes. And then uh, we're going to talk about why... Uh, Facebook's or Meta's share price has come down 15% recently and whether there's an opportunity in that, okay? So first things first, let's talk about Facebook becoming Meta. What do you think about that news? Well, okay, I think they are pretty much trying to move into the Metaverse world, right? Where, uh, you know, people like me which just wear this gadget and then once I put it on, I'm in the virtual world, right? Where I can uh, what do you play see? games. What do you see? What do I see? I see... Uh, <laughs> Avatars, okay, people yeah. hanging around, uh, interacting with each other, and you know, you can make friends, you can hang, uh, people from US, you can just talk to them or anywhere of the world, right? And some people are dating on the uh, virtual world. Are you dating? Some, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Chris was married, you know I just had to ask that question. Yeah. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I've seen video where people actually have their actually communities of uh, virtual avatars, people coming around, you know, some of them actually get, getting married online. Oh, yeah. wow. so, <laughs> so this is what yeah. basically Zuckerberg is it's all envisioned. about. He's envisioning basically yes. there's yep. a virtual world where everyone can interact. Like now we yeah. interact on Facebook, Instagram. Yes. Yeah. But he wants to create this second life, this virtual yep. world. Yeah. It's almost like the show that you watch in the Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Yeah. 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 It's already happening in uh, Oculus on the virtual world right now. It's just it's not happening on the big scale so I think Facebook is trying to position themselves to capture this uh, big next uh, market that is going to you know potentially people are going to move into they want to kind of like create this platform or yes. like own this platform yeah. this virtual reality so, I think they just can't take what Apple is trying to do to them you know yeah I think this is pretty interesting because I'll bring it up that actually Facebook is pretty old as a company Yeah, um, it's actually pre, pre-smartphone <laughs> so if you remember Facebook was primarily a web based platform and then when the iPhone came along and it was became like an app based economy Facebook was one of the first companies to kind of focus and pivot their company towards being an app focused yeah. uh, company so that's why they've been doing so well all these years in Facebook Instagram and all that yeah. so I guess they want to see they see that like you said uh, they don't want to rely on Apple Apple, Apple or Google, Google, Google for Android yes, and all that because yeah. they are the gatekeepers um, they want to create their own like, sure. platform yeah yep so this is an Oculus, right? This is actually yes, from Facebook. It's a uh, Quest 2 and uh, the price is about 299 So I think this is the only, I think first uh, VR has said that it's actually completely very affordable for the mass market. Mm-hmm. Uh, previously, seven years ago, I wanted to buy a VR headset. It cost me at least, uh, for the headset itself, 1000 plus. And on top of that, I have to buy an external PC that cost me 1000 plus with those uh, good graphic cards. Okay, mm-hmm. So that is going to be about 2000 plus US dollars, right? So now with this headset, I think uh, uh, Quest 2 is the main uh, game changer this time around. I think it's it's uh, you know, getting a lot of traction, uh, hundreds of thousands of people actually using it. So as they attract more people onto the platform, I think they will attract more developers that are developing more games. Because for now, there's uh, limited games that I can play with, although there are quite a plenty of games out there that people love to play. But uh, for me, I think I've run out of games. So I'm waiting for the next big games to come in into this uh, headset. What about Iron Man? Is it Iron Man? On, uh, on no, it is not, right? So I mean, <laughs> I can hook it up into, into a PC or okay. VR. We call it PC VR, right? right. But this has said it, it can operate by its own so it's pretty impressive for the price that you actually pay and the value that you're getting is mm. tons of value out of it okay so i think facebook is uh, pretty much a hit in uh, metaverse uh when it comes to this so i think that's the reason why uh facebook actually want to go into go heavily into this big market and also another reason could be because facebook itself the platform are burning <laughs> okay. there are a lot of uh, bad news uh revolving around the company so it's a good time for them to change the name all right so i think we're going to yeah. jump right into that at this point i think the thing about metaverse and all that is still pretty much high in the sky yep. many years away yeah. we really don't know how it's going to pan out correct but yeah. that's what the vision that is the vision Mark Zuckerberg has and it's pretty interesting and see how it's going to turn out uh, but we're going to talk about Facebook or Meta okay uh right now in its operational business and the share price uh, has come down 15% yes. yeah. from its peak this year so 15% is quite a bit and you know people who are looking at Facebook Meta they might think yeah there's something to look at right now so why is it why has it come down 15% recently I well, think because yeah. of two things. One is the whistleblower issue, yeah. which uh, Wall Street Journal actually create a specific s- file inside their app yeah. or inside their news site called the Facebook file. You know, 
with all the whistle blowing of all the uh, informations uh, from insider in Facebook. Then finally, the second one is actually the iOS 14 changes, right? Okay, let's talk about the whistleblower. So what what is so incriminating about you know this whistleblower uh, yeah. and all that stuff? So there was a research done. I think that they internally the Facebook actually found out that uh, you know Instagram is actually very toxic for teenagers. Uh, it actually increases the suicide risk among those teenagers. And you know with that reports being done and insiders know that there's this issue they didn't put any efforts to resolve this issue and that's the reason why I think whistleblower is coming out uh, to to tell the world right <laughs> Facebook is not doing the right thing they're prioritizing profit yep. yes. over everything yeah. else yeah. Yeah. And, and I also think that because I think investors also see that uh, you know you know, like if you look at Alphabet not much of an issue but Facebook is everyone Two, one year, two years, there's always the issue uh, about yeah. privacy. Yeah. Okay. So the way I look at Facebook is that they are like a punching bag, right? Yeah. So anytime, anytime when there's something go wrong, there's a violence, there's a racism, or there's a, you know, people election, having election yeah. Yeah. politician did something wrong, they'll blame everything to Facebook. So it's almost like a punching bag where you see, oh, something go wrong, punch Facebook, it's Facebook fault. Yep. So I think that's been happening. Uh, although they have their own fair share of mistakes out there, you know, the Cambridge Analytica is one of the serious ones that happens uh, three, three, four years ago, right? So, uh, so Facebook, I think, has been getting a lot of this negativity in the media and the press. You know, all the publications that I read, none of them talk good stuff about Facebook. They've been slamming them for the data leakage, you know, privacy issue. Uh, and you know, recently the whistleblower also says that you yep. know the 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 way they treat some of the people on the platform, VIP they call it, and some politician, they the same rule doesn't apply to to them. Okay. That, that apply to the people like us. Mm -hmm. uh, They're treated differently, okay? So which is not fair, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so these are the kind of things that I think Facebook are getting. I think Facebook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg have tried his best to not to you know, have this kind of attention, but eventually I think changing the name is the best option to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's just a rebranding for them, you know, to yes. get you off this issue thing. Okay. Yeah, so these are the uh, current news that are pretty negative about Facebook and that's perhaps the reason why the price uh, came down. Yeah, and second thing, I think Victor talked about the iOS uh, 14.5, right? The changes with yes, regards to uh, privacy for Apple devices. Uh, basically, these changes will not allow uh, apps to share data among each other, okay? So mm -hmm. they can't cookie you anymore, right? So yep. basically, uh, and you know, after they changes that the software on our phone, you the users like you and I can actually uh, opt in to let uh, Facebook track your behavior, track your behavior yep. or other apps as well. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And according to the stats that I have, according to Flurry Analytics, I think so far the average uh, opt-in rate is only 15%. Okay. So out of 100 people who are asked to you know, choose whether they want to share their data across different uh, app, share, uh, apps, I think only 15 people say I think okay. most people would just yep. say no, right? Yeah, yeah I, I would say no. So. <laughs> I, I said no <laughs> as yeah. well. Yeah. I think uh, we need to understand how actually this affect them is because yeah. uh, for instance, right, in the past before this iOS 14 came about, right? So for instance, let's say you you, you go into Facebook and you search for, uh, uh, you was looking at maybe uh, something, then these ads came out, mm -hmm. right? You accidentally click on this, for instance, this back ads, okay. right? You click on these ads and when you, you get off of Facebook, you go to another site, you, you look at the banner, you can see the same back ad. Back so basically ads. the ad is like tracking you. Yes, right? correct. Yeah. The ads will follow Stalk, you. Stalking you. Yeah, will stalk you to from website to website, right? Mm -hmm. But because of this iOS uh, 14, right, they allow and disallow up to the user to choose. So let's say, for instance, I'm the user, I, I do not want it to be tracked. So when I go over to the next website, right, you no longer see the back ads again. Well, I'm right. still seeing it for myself, even though I say no. I don't know why. You know, every time when I mention about certain products, yeah. the next moment when I go to Facebook, the ads of that yeah. product came out. So they're still tracking you some other. <laughs> I, I, I think there's know. something magical about Facebook, right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes like you can say it's magical. Other people may think differently. Yeah, right? but yes. I you know. I, I I talk to maybe sometimes I talk to you who say that oh I would like, yeah. I would like to go to Japan. The next moment I see a Japan ads on Facebook. And you didn't yeah. type anything. You yeah, just I didn't say, type yeah. anything. Yeah. Right. So, it's so, a, you know, they always yeah. have privacy issue. It's a creepy yeah. moment that for yeah, me, yeah. honestly, yeah. as a user. So, but yeah. my, Victor thinks it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it in a very nice way, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but basically, yeah, Facebook, um, I think just to bring it all together is that, yep. yeah, they have all these scandals about the data privacy, yeah. um, this uh, thing about censorship. Yep. Mm. And basically, they're not policing hate speech, racism, political stuff, yeah. uh, anti, anti vax and vax stuff and all that stuff. Yep. It's, it's, just a, it's just like the wild west on the internet, on social media. Okay. Yep. And the whistleblower is basically saying that they, they, they power, this, these things actually create more eyeballs because people get outraged. Yeah. Yep. And then, then you can show more ads. <laughs> so that's what the whistleblower is saying is that yep. 
they prioritize yeah. profit over you know all these things. Yeah. Yeah. So I think all this negativity has basically brought the share price of Facebook all the way down. Yeah, fifteen percent. Right. I, I think the thing about Facebook is like you talk about the neg- negativity is because the way that they uh, the algorithm work is yeah. that the more you look at this content, the more they will show you. Yeah. So it actually creates very it's an extreme echo, side. It's an echo chamber. Yeah. You only yeah. see and hear what you want to yeah. see and hear. I think this is work not just on Facebook, even for media companies. They like yeah. to cover negative news where people yeah. read the most, right? So China regulatory crackdown is one example where everybody's covering it. So I think Facebook, of course, sometimes they go into those gray area and in their platform has been growing yep. so big that it's very hard for them to you know keep track of all this. So they have to rely on AIs and you know machine learning and stuff like that to, to help moderate the content. So sometimes they couldn't. So that's where they get hit. Okay. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the issue with social media. Something that it's never happened before in our human history. Last time you had a village idiot, he would remain in the village. Yeah. No one would hear about him. But now the village idiot has social media so to true. spread his word. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, these are things that are happening with Facebook at this point in time. But as investors, um, you know, we want to see. You want know, the question that we ask is okay. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook is arguably a great company. Yeah. Um, or Meta, right? So, um, are these issues? short term long term well, how do you think they will affect facebook yeah so i think uh with regards to the ios uh, 14.5 i think the management already said that you know the impact is only like you know it has been uh, over in the third quarter by this year right yeah. so uh most people have already made the decision whether to share the data or not okay so that actually affected their earnings uh, on the quarter three 2021 versus quarter two 2021 uh, the earnings actually dropped by 10 percent. that could also explain why the price has, has declined okay? okay so uh moving forward i think as as long as people continue to use facebook uh i think the eyeballs are still there yep uh and you know they may the in terms of uh, roi effectiveness may drop for the advertisers so that's something that we have to continue to monitor right Mm-hmm. But I don't expect it's such a big impact because uh, in terms of uh, users engagement for Facebook, if you look at their daily active users and monthly active users, they are still getting around sixty six percent. Okay, so this is the ratio that I usually track. Yep. How often you know people use uh, Facebook mm-hmm. uh, once at least a month or in term, as compared to their daily active users, right? So sixty six percent has been pretty consistent for the last uh, five years. So I think uh, Facebook is still pretty sticky for people like us. Uh, and you know, among the uh, Zen Z, uh, Facebook uh, actually getting a lot of competition from uh, TikTok yep. and uh, Snapchat. So TikTok is, I think, the most the uh, recent up and rising app that came out of nowhere. Right? I think over the last uh, six years, they have came out and then they have close to about one more than one billion, and they are hitting going close to about one point two billion uh, users on the TikTok itself by the end of the year. Right? So, uh, and the rise of TikTok is actually caught everyone by surprise. Okay, so I think that is where the a lot of Gen Z population, uh, or rather people who are born in the year of nineteen ninety seven to two thousand and twelve. Okay, so uh, they are more likely to use uh, TikTok versus uh, Facebook or Instagram. In fact, Facebook is not for them at all. Okay, Instagram yep. maybe, but Facebook, uh, Instagram is not is actually uh, have lost in terms of number users to uh, TikTok. Yeah. So uh, yeah. in terms of the numbers, I I have this chart over here by marketing charts. Uh, basically, they interview or they survey, you know, the US teens uh, about their favorite social media platform, right? So they yeah. surveyed between about 7,000 US teens mm-hmm. and also the average age is about 16.1. So if you look at what Rusmin talked about uh, TikTok, right, is actually uh, in 2020 was 13% of them actually uh, still use uh, the TikTok. But then uh, in the recent spring 2021, it's already 30% of them mm-hmm. using TikTok, right? But if you look at Facebook, right, it was actually at the 12% mark and right now it's only 2%. Yeah. And this is Facebook, the app or Facebook? Just app? the Facebook only. Oh, just, just, just Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Facebook yeah. app. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that that is basically uh, what you can say is a uh, uh, aging population trend. <laughs> right? Yeah, right? okay. Because eventually those people on, but even though they are going down, right, but Facebook still is the biggest platform in terms of the adults. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But then for the but to know whether the next trend, whether they'll continue is to look at the youngsters because eventually the youngsters will become the next adult, yeah. right? But uh, I think Facebook did something right in the past is that they actually uh, bought into Instagram yeah. and Instagram is still holding. So 24% of them is still uh, using uh, Instagram. But, but of course, 
uh, in the past is 29%. So they actually drop, actually the top two is actually Snapchat and TikTok. For, Among for the US teens. Uh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, US okay. teens, yeah. But overall, I think if you look at the whole US, uh, you know, people who use Instagram, Snapchat, Instagram still leading, right, in terms of the number of users that they have on the platform, about yep. 114, uh, 115 uh, million, right, versus, yep. uh, you know, Snapchat about 85, and then uh, TikTok is slightly lower, okay? But TikTok is up and rising, uh, pretty fast okay so i think among the bad news that we are hearing about facebook uh, regards to the ios 14.5 i think the impact is going to be very minimal for facebook uh, and then secondly with regards to the whistleblower that's not something that i worry that much uh, because that is still on the table and all the regulators are talking about how to punish this fella right yeah so, i, I yeah. mean eventually you know all this privacy always complain it's the same as the cambridge analytica along yeah. the way right in the end, where do you share all these platforms to say that Facebook, you know, don't have privacy? You will go back to your Facebook, your Instagram, yeah. your WhatsApp and tell people, oh no, Facebook got no privacy, but you are still using the app. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember right. that because Cambridge right. Analytica was uh, was quite a big thing because yeah. of the elections and all that. Yeah. But people were still using Facebook. In the yeah, they're still using, <laughs> they're still using, still using it. To, to share a thing, right? So the yeah. users, as long as the users are still there, yeah. advertiser will be there. Yeah. yeah, so that's yeah. the business yeah. of uh, Facebook. Which, in fact, you look yeah. at Facebook market share actually went up. You know, in 2016 was like 14.3 percent of the yeah. market share for the ads revenue. Mm. By 2020, by 2021, now it's about 23.7 percent. Yeah. So they gain uh, market share, and yeah. this is for Facebook's family of apps. The Every, whole everything, everything, everything. Right? So that's but, I mean Meta, right? Yeah, but yeah. I believe is 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 brought up by because of Instagram, Instagram. You know, because a lot of people are on Instagram right now. Yeah. yeah. So basically, just to uh, summarize uh, right so I'm more worried on the uh, impact of the users they are getting from Gen Z which are not coming in yep. right mm -hmm. so uh, and in terms of the average monthly time spent per user among the social networking apps according to uh, app any okay, which is a very popular you know analytic website uh, where they actually says that you know in 2019 or rather 2020 Facebook the users actually spend an average on around 17 hours a month okay and as compared to TikTok uh, the users actually spend about 21 hours okay so TikTok the people are using TikTok app they actually have spent more time on versus uh, Facebook okay so as the eyeballs are moving towards there and they're spending longer time on the TikTok because each a day we only have 24 hours okay yeah. so yeah. Uh, and TikTok get more number of hours of usage uh, that will be at the expense of Facebook and other social media companies like YouTube right yeah. so uh, that is worrying trend that we need to monitor I think this is a long term threat for Facebook uh, yeah. monopoly yeah yeah but of course Franchise. recently Instagram introduced I think Reels is it Reels yeah. 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 I think it's exactly like TikTok yeah, right, but yeah. I think it's going to be very hard to yeah. compete with TikTok because uh, TikTok is, uh, you know, has uh, the reason why they're successful yeah. is because they are pretty you know, innovative and the yeah. culture internally, they are they, they know how to uh, come up with new business and then make sure yeah. it's stick. So yeah. you don't think it's uh, what that Facebook could like basically do, do is uh, you use the same playbook when they try to basically copy Snap. Yeah. Right, you know, there was a Snap story. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. So they basically have Instagram stories and all. Uh, Facebook yeah. stories. <laughs> yep. They kind of like killed off the threat of Snap. Yep. Snap yeah. is still around, but it kind of killed that off. Yep. But you don't think they can do that to TikTok? Uh, I think it's going to be pretty hard, pretty hard. Uh, for them to do it. I mean, YouTube has introduced a short form video yeah. format also. Everybody is doing it. It's easy to do it, but uh, it's the algorithm that counts, right? Mm -hmm. So TikTok, I think algorithm seems to be uh, working very well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, all these guys, they are talking about algorithm, but you know, unless you are IT trained, you will you know, know what the algorithm, yeah, algorithm is all about, <laughs> right? So yeah. I, I think in, maybe in short, like what was being said, you know, um, uh, probably will not hurt them pro because in short they are still the dominating you know yeah. the dual poly inside the advertising space yeah. but over a long term the Gen Z mm -hmm. the sort of if they're going towards the aging population trend then yeah. probably that's going to be hurt but of course that's the I think that's probably also part of the reason why they are focusing on doing yeah. this Meta. uh, metaverse yeah. right because if they crack this code yeah. then the next 10 years it's going to be safe for them All right. so yeah. what you're basically what you're saying so Facebook has busy Gen X Gen Y people yep the millennials are on Instagram, but the Zoomers yep. are on TikTok. Yep. Yeah. And we have this metaverse thing. Where it's up and coming. So uh, where basically Mark Zuckerberg wants to create this new space. Yes. Is that uh, yeah. people beyond Zoomers Correct. can actually be there. Yeah. Well. So yeah. I think Mark Zuckerberg's goal is that in five years later down the road, you know, he wants to make sure that if, uh, Facebook is not a social media company, but it's a metaverse company. Meta okay. yeah. Which metaverse. is a, yeah industry yeah. where a lot of players are going in. Tencent, Apple is coming yep. with their own virtual reality headset. Okay. Right, so it's going to be, the competition is going to be very intense. But uh, I would say that uh, uh, Facebook has the edge on this because they are already in the market for many years since they bought Oculus for yep. a, billion, a couple of billion, right? People thought 
about it. You know, months ago we buy it for the toy. Mm-hmm. Right? A lot of people love it. <laughs> <laughs> but today it's gotten the potential has gotten so big because this industry, if it kicks off, I think it's going to be a next big thing that I think we can yep. actually okay. look at. Okay, so Facebook for now, their console uh, or rather the headset actually currently dominates about seventy five percent of the market share. Okay, after they come out with Oculus Quest Two, which is the one that I bought here, yep. mm-hmm. I think they have uh, getting a lot of tractions. Right, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this Oculus that is sold to me uh, at a break-even price, right, or maybe at a loss, okay, but I have, sp- have to spend a couple of hundred bucks to buy the games. Okay. So they actually make money from there, okay. So that is something where I think uh, that the model it's is... like a printer cartridge. Yeah. Uh, Same, the game is going model, right? to be your app store, right? Yeah, so I That's think... That's where you purchase, yeah. right? Yes, store, yeah. Right. So if you if they are successful in that, I think it's going to be way beyond gaming, yeah. right? It's yeah. also a place where you can potentially work, hang out, all right? Yep. And then they are, you can buy clothes, abata, and all those yeah. stuff online, and there will be a whole new world yeah. altogether, right? And Though, if this device really gets smaller, mm-hmm. then yeah. you going may may you know wipe yeah. out your your existing mobile phone. Yeah. You just speak through your specs, you know. Yeah. Okay. So with better technology, better chips, uh, no processing yeah. power, yep. graphic, and all that, I think we are moving in the direction. Yeah. Right? So Facebook is getting an edge uh, on that. Of course, but it's still a dream now. It's still a dream. Yeah. yeah. For now, okay, yeah. it's happening. Uh, yeah. but you need to wait for the mass adoption. That's something that we are watching yep. very right. closely. And that's like probably probably five ten years away. Yeah, we yeah. have no idea how it's going to yeah. be like. And right? there's one more growth driver for Facebook. It's of course is their Facebook shop, mm-hmm. where I think currently they have about 12, uh, 1.2 uh, million uh, online shops, mm-hmm. right? Which is pretty much on par with uh, Amazon, right? 1.2 uh, million merchants on their platform. Uh, Shopify has about 1.7 million uh, merchants. So if their Facebook shop, let's say, you know, kicks off, uh, that. And then currently they are waving off all the fees that you know you put the products yeah. there on sale. They wave it off, right? Mm-hmm. But next year or next few years, if they start charging, that will be the additional revenue for them. Yeah. yeah. So for those who don't know, Facebook shops is basically you can go on Facebook and then there's actually oh, uh, like Instagram, sh- Instagrams yeah. that basically you can just like check out directly the on the app itself. Yeah. You see the product. Yeah. You see yeah. the price. You can mm-hmm. just check out. Check out. You don't have to go anywhere else. Yeah. Then Facebook, in, you know they can get a cut of that if they yep. want to. Yep. All right. So I think let's put it all together. I think at this point, you see there's a lot of potential for Facebook or yep. Meta. Yep. And uh, they have some short-term challenges as well. iOS 14, yes. yep. yep. quarter three, and the whistleblowers and all. And there's competition which is more structural in a sense as long-term. Yep. So all these things, you have to put that together when you're doing your analysis of Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So let's go straight into how would you value Facebook or Meta at this point in time? How would you do it? I think a uh, short answer to that is that this company is a highly cash generative uh, business. They earn a lot of money. So you can look at it at uh, in terms of uh, price to earnings. So mm-hmm. PE will be a good ratio to measure them. So at this stage, I think they are trading at, after all the bad news, the press, you know, uh, they are trading at about 20, I would say 23 times uh, earnings. Okay. Uh, and that is actually very near to their uh, valuation in during the peak of the COVID-19 where the price also tumbled mm. uh, and they were trading at a PE of about 23 times as well. So right. they're actually trading at COVID valuations. Yes, at this point. yes, yeah. yeah. It's so cool. it's uh, pretty attractive uh, but of course they are not as low as compared to the Cambridge Analytica when they have you know millions of accounts, data, leakage and all, all the stuff. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, at the level of 20 times. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, it's actually very close, 23 to 20. In, and what's yep. the average uh, PE for? About, I think uh, if you look at the past five years, it's about 30 times. 30, 30 yeah. 31. 30 times you know? earnings? 30, okay. 31, yeah. So at this point, it's 23 times earnings. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you work out based on the TTM EPS. Trading 12 months, yeah. basically the latest so 12 months earnings. The IV will be roughly about 420. Intrinsic value is about 420. Yeah, 420. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And at this point, Facebook is 300 plus. 300, 300 plus. 320, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So I think the margin of 60 is probably about, you know, 23%, 23%. Yeah. yeah. About okay. roughly approx. So again, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. We're just basing this based on um, Facebook's historical averages on yeah. the P based on its PE ratio. And um, it looks undervalued at this point yeah. based on that. And yeah. again, uh, we have to stay our position, right? We have vested interest in this company. Yeah. Uh, even before all this uh, whistleblower, yeah. uh, iOS 14. Yeah, we, yeah, right. Facebook right. we already bought. Yeah. Yeah. We Facebook. bought during the, the yeah. Cambridge, you know, yeah. scandal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I hope that was a pretty good, um, you know, summary of what's happening with Facebook slash Meta at this point point in time. I think the Metaverse is very exciting, but yeah. it's still very up in the air. Yeah. Still yeah. a dream. Still a dream. You monitor. I'm monitoring. Yeah, monitoring. He's, <laughs> he's a, yeah. Are you in it every day? Uh, no, uh, but yeah. uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I see a lot, of, a lot of people that are actually using, spending hours, right? Does so your wife question you using that? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop using that, man. Why are you Continue saying Continue to analyze well, company more. Yeah. <laughs> this is the app where I can ex- actually the yeah. exercise a lot. Yeah. Okay, so I okay. play a lot yeah, of yeah. table tennis. Table, yeah. Table, yeah. Uh, table tennis, actually. Table table it feels right. so real, yeah. right? I can't yeah. describe to you. Yeah. Remember to do your work. Don't 
always play. Huh? <laughs> this is his work. He's doing research. Oh, yeah, research. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, I hope there was a pretty good summary of Facebook. I think there's a lot happening at this point in time with the name change and its new direction into the metaverse, which is still many years away, we, we think. And of course, there's some short-term challenges with their business as well. I mean, with the, the bad news and all that negativity and all that. So we just wanted to share a video about... Um, Facebook and the share price at this point in time, how we yep, value yep. it. So I hope that was really helpful for you, especially yep. if you're a Facebook shareholder or if you're interested in looking at Facebook at this point in time. So I think that was a pretty good wrap up, guys. Yep. 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 Okay. So my name is Adam. This is Rusmin. Victor, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Back to playing the games. Back to playing the games. <laughs> <laughs> Def Punk over there. <laughs>